What's that in La Familia? We back in the stag with another one, man. How y'all doing today? Let me go ahead and say that. Salute to all my kings and queens who tap in with the platform. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all support. Y'all already know what it is, man. But we got a bunch to talk about. And y'all see my boy Fred O'Bang going across the screen. So, of course, man, we got to do a little bit of catch up because of the few days that was ripped away from us. So, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, and turn post notifications on to all. That way you will be notified every time we drop a video. Y'all already know, man. We got to holler at my boy G Money. Rest in peace to the real G Money. We got to holler at Fred Bay, And, you know, a multitude of other people, man. Just a lot going on. I feel like 2023 may be the year that we will see guns put down and more people scrapping. And throughout the course of this video, y'all will see the reason as to why I am saying that. But first off, we got to dive into Fredo Bang. Now, he let it be known a few days ago, no more parole. After five years, I finally got this off my back. We are officially taking overseas booking. So as y'all can see, that man is fixing to. Man, he finna take his fan base to another level. He finna get revenue in other countries. And, you know, it's a lot going on. He posted the screenshots of the text messages of him and his parole officer, him getting off and whatnot. Now, I know this was a few days ago, but like I said, we didn't get to touch on it and give our thoughts. And now we can. Amazing, amazing news coming by way of Fred O'Bang. Love to see it. Bruh, continue to grow, continue to prosper, and continue to get your bread, most importantly. Love to see that, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And let's go ahead and move on. And next up, we got my main guy, man. Sleepy, man. Mr. Boulevard Sleepy, man. As you know, he posts this picture right here from him inside that courtroom, man, in front of that judge and whatnot. And then he says, we fall to get up again. Minor setback for a major comeback. Hashtag bless. Free me till you see me. And the hashtag bless got me wondering if Boulevard Sleepy, of course, one thing he shared it. But if Boulevard Sleepy got some good news today at court maybe he might be home sooner than later i don't know let me know how y'all feel about that then next up we got deandre fields man g money lit yoshi deandre fields is ots little pop and this is of course as we all know the one who has been on trial for taking g money's life man and there's a few things i want to point out with this entire situation because as we all know it has hit the internet it has flooded all the biggest bloggers that he has been given five years in accessory to the homicide of the real G money. Now, uh, we're going to read a little bit of this, man. Not too much because I don't want to run this video on way too long. But just check out this. Fields of New Rose agreed to negotiate a deal between prosecutors and his attorney that saw his charges drop to accessory after the fact of murder. A nonviolent offense that exposed him to only five years behind bars. He will serve that sentence as he serves a three-year prison stint for a federal weapons charge he picked up last year while awaiting trial. Wow, that's crazy. Fields was slated to be tried this week in state court on a second-degree murder indictment for which he faced a mandatory life sentence if convicted. According to his new indictment on an accessory charge, he was simply in a car with a group of people, one of whom was alleged murderer when Burton was shot and killed. Prosecutors alleged Fields assisted in the killing afterward. With this agreement, the sentencing and the charge has been greatly reduced from what is was 19 jurisdictional court. Judge Michael McDonald told him Phil's loudly proclaimed his innocence in the courtroom after the Stuart Theorot, a prosecutor from the East Baton Rouge Parish District Attorney's Office, announced the offer. Fields could be overheard telling his attorney, I can't take time for something I did not do. Later, after the discussion, the agreement with his family, he told a loved one he was 100% innocent but couldn't gamble with the risk of being incarcerated for life. So overall, man, this man took a plea deal that got his charges reduced from a potential life sentence to five years in prison and also, you know, the three-year bid that he caught for the federal time. I'm sure he'll probably get some time served. He'd been in there for a while. But this has raised an eyebrow for me and it kind of seems, you know, uh, very suspicious. Not kind of, highly suspicious. And this part right here raised my eyebrows as well. As it says, prosecutors said, the back and forth shootings that came after Burton's homicide made it harder to prove Fields was his killer. Fields himself was shot in April 2020 by a local rapper, Mayoshi Edwards, aka Lil Yoshi, a known TBG member. Edwards pleaded guilty 
to multiple counts of attempted murder in July and was sentenced to 15 years in prison. Now, why is it that you're even speaking about Yoshi's case in his case? Why is this a part of his case? Why is this being talked about in his case? And what is it that made them feel like all of a sudden now you're not the killer? You're just an accessory. And even if it was an accessory, you still are an accessory to murder. So how do you get five years? How is that a plea? That don't make any sense, bruh. None of it makes any sense. You said something. You gave them something. I don't care what y'all say. Ain't no way a man's his time drops from life to five years on a murder case. You get five years? Come on, bruh. Something ain't right here, bro. I'm telling y'all. But next up, man, we got that man, True Bleeder, man. And if y'all don't know, today is True Bleeder's birthday. So rest in peace to him and happy birthday. But P. Youngin, of course, man, posted a video being disrespectful towards True Bleeder as he captions it with, enjoy your dead day, little BX, with the laughing emojis and the coughing. Being highly disrespectful for absolutely no reason, man. This man is gone. And that type of behavior is the behavior that we cannot respect. You know what I'm saying? P. Young has been doing a lot of stuff here as of lately that shows his ignorance and the reason why he should not be in a position of influence. I'm just being 100 with y'all. You know, I, I, I just don't like this one at all. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. And let's go ahead and move on. And next up, we got FBG Duck and his mama as she lets it be known that there are more people being arrested for his murder. As she says, this just in. More arrests about to be made on my son's murder. And I'm not going to be satisfied till everyone involved, and I mean everyone, is locked up. Have a blessed day. So as y'all can see, man, she letting me know that there is more arrests that have been made on his murder, man. So it seems like he's going to get his justice. Let me know how y'all feel about that. Then next up, we got that man Blueface and DJ Academics. And if y'all don't know and haven't seen, there's been a lot of back and forth between these two men, man. Hey, academics been getting sideways towards this man. I mean, look at these Twitter posts, man. I got 5K per dude who F Blueface girl who down to get on my Twitch stream, break it down, how it happened, DNA test included, F Mori, big act, finna do a paternity test for the broke A dude Blueface. I'm pledging 50K for this effort. Who got Blueface girl pregnant? Wow, this man is disrespectful. Then he says, 10 dudes piped out blue face girl and he's still taking henny bottles to the head clown get your manhood back before you talk to me and then he put like uh one through ten and put uh your basically your dude number 10 and she got your kid answer that at blue face blue face said 10 dudes after his girl in the last year and she still dropped a video of him eating that nasty snatch own up to your responsibility you finna be a child support get your manhood back from your girl at a blue face of course blue face seen all this man so he let it be known that he wanted to get out with act he wanted to set up a boxing match where they can both make some bread and he says had all that energy for little baby though cuz said actually i'm not boxing you with the laughing emojis so act shares it and says fight the 10 dudes who piped your girl out plus the girl who keep beating your a and i'm 100 down fmma dude i'm gonna buy your foreclosure house and kick you and your child and the mother of your child out and the 10 dudes she done effed with the laughing emojis man this man did hey man he doing too much bro this man right here is strange man ain't none of this got nothing to do with you but of course whack 100 even though him and dj act was once cool at once upon a time uh whack 100 being you know blue face manager being his partner man he stepped in shared that little post of them two trying to set up the boxing match and then puts a caption under it. at academics this man blueface says he wants the fame you have for little baby i just secured the bag what we doing this makes money no need to talk about who has what money so as you can see man that man whack 100 trying to set it all up he like f all the extras you want to do all this internet stuff get all the views on you try to get clout off this man's name run your page up even more forget all that Let's get in the ring. We can make money off of that. Let's set it up and get it going. And I just feel like, you know, DJ Academics is extra out. I'm not defending nobody or defending any rappers. All I'm saying is, bro, honestly, bro, you didn't have to do any of that. You didn't have to get into this man's business. Talk about who this man's girl is piping down. Whatever he got going on with that child, however he feels, it ain't none of your business, man. Ain't no child even been born yet. 
Everybody just found out she's pregnant. We don't even know if she's really honestly pregnant or if she's going to have the baby. You know what I'm saying? So what is what does this got to do with you? Why are you all in this man's business? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't understand it, bro. Academics, once again, moving like a clown. Continues to move like a clown. This dude just moves like a real life simp. I don't understand what's up with whack. But get out there and get the fade with that man. Don't just be talking on the internet. You know, you 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 talk about catching a lot of fades with these rappers, but we never see you do it. You know what I'm saying? So really catch that fade with Blueface. And one thing about Blueface is he really can get out. So you better hope you can scuffle too. So hey, we're gonna see where this go to, man. I just think that it's not gonna end that well. But on our last topic, man, we got that man JT, the bigger figure, once again. And if y'all watched the last video, man, he was shooting out to the Bay Area. And now he has arrived in this one. As he says, Mo Better Cheddar set up the boxing match while I'm in the Bay for two days. For me and any black man, I got issues with. When I leave, all my black on black issues resolved. Anyone else who got issues, let's resolve them. We will be strong after. Mo Better Cheddar set it up. Nice ring, all black on black issues need to be handled after that. I think some more brothers need to do the same. Win or lose or draw at J Diggs this. After that, we will be brothers. The world needs to see us black men overcome differences. This stuff with the Mexicans about to make me use this time to help bring my own people together. Anyone else got issues with another brother? Someone set it up with them two days with swinging, fists, no guns, no back doors. Just getting it off our chest once and for all. And yes, police doing security, not our own homies. This for a good cause and nobody getting smoked. That's what a dude been waiting for. Fig, home, gloves up, leave it in the ring. Tickets $100, period. We donating every dollar to mothers who lost their sons to gun violence. That's 100. Uh, find the place and a zo regardless of his condition. He gonna fill me in the ring. Or wherever I catch him. Facts. Tag Mac Mall too in the ring or wherever I catch him. No excuses. Locks home. And then he goes on to say, dang, if I was talking about shooting, it would be fine. I said two days of boxing it out to resolve issues. Now that's a problem. Oh well, we gonna see who show up. Ain't no way we gonna let guns be our only option out here. No way. No way. Ain't no backing out. Ain't no running the pistol play. Nope. Call your man out and everybody get it off their chest. Hit at Mo Better Mo Chetta. He locking all fighters in. Diggs, Zoe, Maul, and Quinn will lose or draw, win, lose, or draw. Two fights per day for me and my issues resolved. If you scared to lose, you a coward. It's part of winning. Hey, that's 100. I agree. Phil Mo, we ain't have a choice. Get beat up by our big homies. Man, it's all tough. Getting jumped was part of the training. All these, it paid off. Fear is for the non fighters, gun toters, run for the strap. A hey guys, well, this ain't the 200 security for a job, is to see brothers work it out. No snake stuff allowed. Period. Hey, that's 100, man. So, as y'all can see, man, that man JT, the bigger figure, is now in the Bay Area. He's touched down in the U.S. and he's ready to scrap it out. He got more better cheddar out there setting up the issues he gonna get it off uh his chest with jay diggs uh san quinn he finna get out with all his issues that is out here man anybody who had a problem with him you know what i'm saying so hey i definitely respect that man now i'm gonna play uh the live of him touching down in america you know and him letting it be known he finna set up these fights y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this give me y'all comments i'm gonna leave y'all with this live and uh y'all already know man it's all love coming from my way peace and blessings kings and queens and uh, all praise be to the most high. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Now we gonna do it, we gonna get it out of the way. We gonna get it out of the way. Yeah, we getting a big gym too. They getting a the gym, they got ring size seats. Yeah, uh, my boxing magic gonna cost a hundred. We shout out to Mo Better Cheddar for hooking everything up. You see, I, you see I landed already, right? I was in Africa yesterday. And now today I'm here. This how I go, man. Shout out to the airlines. He's here. The Womo. Yeah, it's pretty bad out here. It's pretty bad out here. I've been knowing about it though. I see how they was acting on Instagram. 
Yeah, put the hands up and put the guns down. Yeah, deal with these, put them guns down. Yeah, yeah. Yo, uh, I'm finna hit my boy Mo Better Cheddar though, so we can see where we're gonna have the location at. If you're in San Francisco, March 26th, uh, uh, Harbor Road, San Francisco, Hunters Point area. That's gonna be the first location. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all when, though. Man, y'all be safe out Boy, listen. Stay off Highway 99. All bad. Them people try to go on the freeway, and the water came up, and it's all the way to the window. That's ugly right there. Hell yeah. I never saw that before. The water all the way to your window. Oh, now we gonna throw these hands. That yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna throw hands and then it's, it's gonna be over after this. Once we do that, it's over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Shout out to Mo Better Cheddar Laransky setting everything up. Yeah. Welcome to America. Welcome to America. When you in America, you gotta have these. So y'all stay tuned, man. Let them know Pig is in town, man. Yeah, put the guns down and put your hands up. Yeah, we want $100 for them seats too, though. Ain't gonna be no cameras in there. It's gonna be just our cameras. Leave your phone in the car. You can't bring your phone in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute to the streets, man. So as y'all can see, man, that man, JT, the bigger figure, man, is down in the Bay Area. He touched down, got a ski mask on, you know what I'm saying, came to America to, you know, get all his issues out the way, to get all his issues with his peoples, man, because he feel like something is brewing with the Hispanic community. Hopefully not, but that's how he feels, man, so he feels like he got to get everything out the way with his own peoples, man. So all the issues y'all been seeing online with all of, you know, the rappers out of out of the Bay Area, he finna go ahead and squash that. You gotta respect all this, man. You gotta respect him for stepping up as a man and setting all this up. You know what I'm saying? And this is the reason why I say 2023 is the year that we might see guns down, gloves up. Cause when these rappers start doing it, you'll start seeing the streets reflect that. The streets will start wanting to revert back to scrapping it out more. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about all this though, man.